I want to talk to you about uh, what we call uh, personal data removal services. So we want to do a compare and contrast between Opteri, Reputation Defender, and Zerofox. Okay. So here are the considerations I want you to think about. I, I want to first start with uh, Opteri. So what do you think about Opteri? I want you to think about a, a, a personal data removal service that actually does a lot of things. I mean, they cover a lot of data brokers, so that's kind of cool. And also they charge like from $4 to $25 per month, okay? And uh, the cool thing is there is actually a free trial through uh, Opteri, so you can test out the service for for two to four weeks, depending on your state. And, and at the end, you can actually see what, whether or not Opteri could be uh, the right data removal service for you, okay? And you can also automate your opt-out request by upgrading to a paid subscription. And that's what, they, if you want to go with Opteri, that's actually the, the best route in our view. And what happens here is that once you actually uh, automate the whole process, Opteri will, will begin the process of uh, removing your information from one data broker to another, and then also send a, remo a removals report, which really includes uh, before and after screenshots to prove that your data has been indeed deleted, okay? And Opteri is, is very easy to use. It has a clean interface that we love that a lot. And uh, so what are the pros and cons here? Well, when you think about Opteri, I want you to think about uh, a service that has a free plan that funds your data on broker sites. Removals report comes with uh, screenshots to prove progress, okay? And it's very easy to sign up and use. Now, in terms of uh, like uh, the things that we don't like with uh, Opteri is that customer support actually is kind of slow and also... Uh, the, uh, the encryption, the data encryption is not always uh, like enforced. The protocols are not always enforced. So something to really think about. But getting started on Opteri is really fast, okay? When you sign up for Opteri, it, it really asks for your personal information to help identify your data on websites. So you can ask for your, your name, email address, date of birth, city, and U.S. states. So that's pretty straightforward, okay? And you also have uh, dashboards and reports. So the main dashboard is very easy to use and navigate. So that's really fantastic. We love that. And also Opteri will show you a list of uh, data broker websites linked to your suspected profile once you actually give your info, okay? And also uh, you, you can also see uh, this report within the dashboard, but Opteri can also email you to uh, let you know when your reports are ready. So that's kind of cool. I mean, they call it exposure reports, okay? And so once you get the, your exposure reports, you can really dig a little deeper to have a clear idea about what's really happening. So that's really good in terms of comprehensiveness. We love that a lot from Opteri. And also you have additional features within Opteri. You have a service that allows you to automatically opt out of new data broker sites. You also are able to request having your data removed, removed from sites not listed on Opteri. And you can also receive a, a removals report that shows how Opteri is removing your profiles from uh, data broker sites. Now, the big question is, does Opteri actually keep your data safe? They, they do. They do. I mean, they actually have, uh, they, they enforce a, a lot of uh, security protocols to uh, keep your data data safe. That's for sure. But the thing is, you, 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 you can never tell, right? Because something happened, if you have a hack, whatever, your data is actually going into uh, the dark web again. So we can say that 90%, they actually uh, are enforcing a lot of strict data security protocols, including uh, MFAs and 2FAs. So multi-factor authentication and uh, two-factor authentication. So that's kind of cool. And also, uh, in terms of customer support, that's one thing they have to work on, okay? Opteri has, uh, Opteri has a live chat, and uh, they guide you on how to... They also have a guides on how to remove your information from data broker sites, and they also have a help desk for FAQs. But the thing is that the live chat uh, leaves a lot to be desired, though. I mean, you have to really, uh, you know, work out real fast. The chatbot is not always working. It's not always working, okay? As, and the thing is that you have to really just brace. You have to really be a, a little patient. But overall, the service is fantastic. I'm showing you right now what the pricing looks like for Opteri as of the date of this show. You can see that they have a, a four level uh, of a pricing. The free, the core, the extended, and the ultimate. Now, if you want to really, if you have a lot of sites you want your data to be removed from, it's just a lot better to go with the ultimate. Okay, with the ultimate, that's if you are, let's say you are a celebrity and you are scared about uh, your reputation, go with the ultimate. Otherwise, if you are just a regular person like you and me, I mean, um, just go for the core or extended. Okay, that's really, uh, and that you, you can really get a lot of uh, value there. No, no need to actually go for something more convoluted. And the way Opteri works is that 
they create an exposure report which matches uh, your uh, information with profiles on data broker sites. At that point, you can request to delete your data on these sites yourself or upgrade to a paid subscription so that Aptera can do it on your behalf. If you choose the latter option, Aptera will send a removals report to update you on the progress of deleting your information on uh, data broker sites. So overall, a pretty straightforward service if you, if you were to ask me. Next, I want to talk to you about Reputation Defender. And when you think about Reputation Defender, I want you to think about a uh, company that's owned by uh, by uh, actually Norton. Okay, so that's an important element to think about. So uh, w one thing I want to say about Reputation Defender is that you have the uh, you have the ability to actually get things done a lot faster. Okay, and uh, what we love about Reputation Defender in terms of uh, data removal is that they are really fast. They are they are faster than than other players into this conversation. By the way. They are faster than uh, Octary and sometimes faster than Zero Fox. Okay, and uh, basically, uh, w as the name implies, Reputation Defender actually focuses a lot on online reputation management. In other words, they they they, they want to help you clean up your online reputation. I mean, this is important, especially if you are trying to get a job, for instance, or you're trying to really cultivate a, re a new relationship. You're trying to really get married or whatever, and you you know that information online is kind of a uh, it's kind of false, you know, like people are, are, are putting putting your data on, uh, you have data on uh, data broker sites and you feel like your data is not really where it should be, okay? And uh, so that's where Reputation, uh, like Reputation Defender helps you out. So basically, they, they just don't remove, when, it, when you think about Reputation Defender, I want you to think about a service that doesn't just remove the data from a data broker site, it goes beyond. It actually, um, it actually will publish a barrage, if you will, a barrage of articles that are sort of positive for your reputation. In other words, Reputation Defender is actually, uh, is I mean, they engage also in uh, content production and content management and also content uh, publication. So you have a, a lot of possibilities there, okay? And what, one thing I want to say also is that what we love about uh, Reputation Defender is that they actually cover all the 50 states. I mean, some uh, reputation, some uh, data broker, some... Uh, personal data removal sites don't cover all 50 states, but Reputation Defender, does, they do cover all the 50 states, including including uh, the Hawaii and Alaska, okay? And so, I mean, I'm just saying this because uh, a lot of uh, data removal sites, they, la they like to focus on the continental USA, whereas uh, Reputation Defender, they, co they cover everything. So you are able, you are sure that your data is being removed from uh, sites that are hosted on all 50 states. So that's kind of cool. So when you think about Reputation Defender, the question is, do they do they cover a lot of uh, a lot of um, data broker sites? Yeah, they cover anywhere from 200 to 300 data broker sites, okay? Are they fast? Yeah, they are fast. And uh, but are they, are they uh, sort of uh, expensive or affordable? They are in between. I mean, basically, uh, the thing is that you have to contact uh, Reputation Defender to actually see what works for you. What they want you to have is that they want you to really uh, be with them for like uh, 24 months, 12 to 24 months to actually see results. I mean, I I is that needed? Not needed. You don't need to be with uh, a data removal sites for two years to actually see results. If they're really good, if they're really uh, if they're really strong in what they're doing, they should be. They should start seeing you. Uh, this sh this should start giving you or at least showing you results from three months to six months, okay? But hey, listen, they want you to be uh, with them for one one to two years. I mean, of course, they'll, they'll give you a discount if you accept an annual billing as opposed to a monthly billing, okay? But uh, one thing for sure, do we go with uh, Reputation Defender? Well, you want to go with uh, Reputation Defender if you're looking for anything more than uh, removing your, your name from data broker sites. Because basically, when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, defending your reputation online, as I said a little earlier, you have an element of uh, content production. In other words, you might have to set up a website, you might have to uh, have a a, a a profile site, you might have to have a blog, for instance. Depending on uh, how serious you want to take your your online reputation, if your online reputation really uh, sort of uh, there is a strong correlation between your your reputation and your uh, in your business, for instance, let's say you are a lawyer or you are a doctor or you are a consultant, you are an architect. Like if your 
if your reputation really, really has an impact, a direct impact on your job, then maybe you might want to think, you might want to go the, the route of uh, Reputation Defender. Otherwise, if you just want something uh, pretty simple like uh, removing your name, your name, first name, last name from a uh, data broker site, go with Opteri. You don't have to go with uh, with uh, Reputation Defender. That That's for sure, okay? That's something, you, but so you have to think about your options before making a move uh, this year anyway. I want to talk to you now about Zero Fox. So when you think about Zero Fox, I want you to think about a more complete, a more a more convoluted platform because Zero Fox does a lot of things and uh, removing your name from personal data, like data broker site is just one of them. I mean, they do a lot of stuff. So the way we the way we analyze uh, Zero Fox and the way they actually position themselves is actually they think of themselves as a risk management software tool, which it really is because uh, Zero Fox, as I said before, does way more than removing your name from personal data broker site. OK, this is a risk management software that actually uh, helps you. And uh, it's not really cheap, though. Zero Fox costs about uh, like the starting price goes from uh, $99 all the way to $150 per month. So this is not really a cheap, okay? And also uh, here is a here is software that actually occasionally uh, offers a, a free trial. So that's that's kind of cool. And uh, Zero Fox can be deployed online. That's an important element. And uh, so when we think about Zero Fox, you want to think about a tool that can be used for individuals, but also enterprise for, for business. So you have risk management software for business, but also individuals. So Zero Fox Intelligence identifies and actually uh, monitors a uh, relevant threat to uh, your individual and or organization with rapid, actionable and best in class intelligence so that you can actually uh, stay ahead of uh, stay ahead of the competition. Also, especially in your industry. And what we love about Zero Fox is that you have the ability to actually uh, customize what you want. Like Zero Fox will actually they can actually come with uh, a holistic approach and all in one risk management approach. Or you can say, you know what? I want this module. I don't want that module. I want this service. I don't want that service. So you have the ability to pick and choose and uh, really uh, sort of have uh, an a la carte sort of proposal from uh, from uh, Zero Fox. OK, so if you want Zero Fox to actually uh, remove your name from data broker site, they will they will do so. And they will, they will also try to they will try to upsell you. They'll try to really uh, sell you other services. That That's what uh, they, and they do this systematically this is something we have seen time and again that they're trying to really uh, upsell upsell all of our team members with uh, with, with new services but just remember that zero fox is actually risk management software so they do way more than removing uh, your name from uh, data broker sites so when we think about uh, zero fox what kind of key features can you uh, can you imagine when you go with uh, this tool well, you have alerts notifications you have audience targeting you have audit management so that's kind of cool you have bc you have a bpc not BT, bcp bpc business process control if you want to use a zero fox from a from a business perspective you have competitive analysis so that's kind of cool also you have compliance management you have a uh, configurable alerts that's kind of cool especially when it comes to uh, measuring the impacts of an action and seeing that, that action sort of uh, grow or or uh, racing over time so the chronology aspect is really critical here chronology geography and demographics okay you also have kappa so when you think about zero fox especially from uh, from a risk management perspective i want you to think about kappa so kappa means corrective and pre and preventive actions so uh, they can actually deploy a strong kappa model for you you have customer engagement dashboard exceptions management impact measurement you have an uh, influencer tracking also so that's kind of cool, especially if you are trying to uh, like uh, normalize or stabilize your your uh, your reputation online. That's really fantastic. You also have uh, exceptions management. You have uh, you. I'm sorry. You have internal controls management, IT risk management. But those that I'm telling you here, those are more business related. Okay. So it, whether you have a small business or whether you 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 have a like a one person business or just a an enterprise uh, and you want to use the Zero Fox for you and your employees, this software can be really, really helpful. You also have legal legal risk management, mobile access, operational risk management. So ORM, very critical. 
You have predictive analysis. That's an important element to think about. You have reputation management. That's another element that uh, Zero Fox does. I mean, so, you know, compared to a uh, reputation defender, Zero Fox does way more, right? Does way more. And reputation management is only one part of uh, the uh, value added that this software brings to the table. You have also reputational risk management, which is really different from reputation management because the when you are in a very sensitive industry, your reputational risk is actually way higher than the reputation itself. Okay. You also have risk assessment, you have sentiment analysis, and you have trend analysis. It's true that the last few things that I've I've, I've told you, they, they relate more to a company uh like a company risk management than to individuals. But what I what I, what I want to say is that so when we think about Optari versus uh Repetition Defender versus Zero Fox, which one should you go for this year? Especially when it comes to uh, managing your your reputation online, when it comes to uh, managing your data on a data broker site. Before you before you choose uh, a, a software provider, I want you to think about a few things. You want to ask yourself how many data broker sites does the company cover? Because uh, you do not want to go with, with a company that actually uh, covers only 50 uh, broker sites whereas another will cover 400 or 500, right? Very important. Remember that there are thousands of data brokers around the world, and those companies are responsible for collecting and distributing your personal information far and wide on the internet, So, uh, and they actually can jeopardize both your privacy and security in the process. So you got to really ask yourself what, what kind of, uh, what kind of uh, like how wide you want to actually cast the, 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 the net, okay? And uh, so... Also, you got to ask yourself, what types of uh, data brokers does the company cover? Not just the number, but also uh, the, the quality, the, uh, the the category, okay? Because when we speak about data broker sites, we are speaking about uh, sites such as uh, people search sites, marketing data brokers, you have financial data brokers, you have recruitment data brokers, and you have risk mitigation brokers. So you have a lot of, a lot of players in a very crowded field, okay? And so, by the way, risk mitigation brokers actually sell financial and health information to investors, financial institutions, and insurance companies. And this data can actually affect your insurance rates and ability to get approved for credit cards and loans, okay? So in the wrong hands, any of uh, the, 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 the personal information that I share with you in today's conversation can expose you to a serious threat such as uh, online phishing, scams, doxing, identity fraud, and even bodily harm. You never know. And you got to really ask yourself, what is the data removal service cost versus value, right? I mean, because you got to have an element of a ROI there. I mean, it's not just about how much the, the, the company charges, but what can they really just to kind of help you out? So basically, uh, so here is uh, the, uh, the our choice here. So Aptari versus Reputation Defender versus Zero Fox. Which one should you go for? Well, our choice is very clear, Opteri. Because a reputation defender actually uh, covers only uh, only one part of uh, your online reputation. And ZeroFox actually is a, is a way more convoluted, comprehensive uh, risk management software tool. But if you are looking for data removal only, you want to go for Opteri. Opteri will get the job done. They will let you know. They have uh, their, their response, their their, their their response uh, report so that that's kind of important so overall fantastic tool to think about so here's a bottom line to this conversation i spoke to you about Opteri versus uh reputation defender versus zero fox i give you the considerations i give you the review and now the choice and now the bottom line thank you so much god bless you i'll see you next time until then remember stay marvelous